City Council, and I want an answer. It's a very simple answer. We don't need a lot of hyperbole. We don't let, need a lot of explanation about investigations. We want to know why the statement was made that a knife was in his hand when there was no such knife. We want an answer to that question, and that's why we're here. They want to know why they made that statement. All right. Why are they making that statement that's not true? And uh, on behalf of the family, everybody that showed up, Thank you, God bless you for your short support. We truly appreciate it. Um, all the different groups that have come. Thank you, God bless you all. Fuck you police brutality. Yeah. No one deserves to die this way. Speak up, do not be afraid, speak up. The truth will, will be revealed by, by my Lord. And that's all I can say right now. Thank you very much for everybody's support and love. Thank you. We plan on having what we normally do on these cases in, I think, in six months. We'll have another. We'll have another march. Hopefully, we'll have more people, and we'll see where we're at then. And I encourage everybody to bring one person. If we bring one person more, it'll double this crowd. If you could bring ten people more, then it'll make it ten times bigger to make it make the message very clear. But it, it doesn't matter what the numbers. It matters that when you're all here and you're all supporting us. Thank you very much, everybody. For being
and if there's That's no military I train, and if there's no military train, why are they so quick to draw a gun? If their if their intentions, if they've been in combat before, they should know how to control a person and take them down, even if they had a knife. That's that right. shouldn't have been That's a problem. Right. And not only do they have tangers, but the they have beaters with as well. And not only do they have that, but why do they have? Why they also train to shoot in unlethal places. This can cannot continue to happen. That's why we're here, because we don't want other families to go through the pain and terror that we have to go through. You guys go, go about your day and, and act like nothing has happened, but something devastating has happened in your community. You have put fear in your community, and we shouldn't have to live that way. My whole community has been impacted. And our little kid, my little nephew used to go up to cops and ask them for their stickers, and the night that we went to the first protest, when my, when my, when my cousin's wife put my little nephew up to the stand, he said his first words were, no mommy, no, I'm scared, he's scary. He killed my daddy. For a little kid at two years old, three years old, shouldn't have to go through that. Or even know about things like that, or even know what a gun is in the first place. Yes, uh, aunt, and I wanna know, I want questions to be answered to my family, and to my whole community, I wanna know why. I want to answer, I want answers why did officers say my nephew had a gun knife when he didn't. I also want to know the truth and I also, we, I want, we want justice. We, we need justice. We also want justice because that's all we're, the family and the whole community is asking for. Okay, so, so, so the main question, I'll, I'll step in here. Hold up, please be quiet. Right? Yeah, Everybody? they're not here. Everybody, please, the question, I, I think I want to phrase it as best we can in a peaceful manner, because there's a question that's been a, that's come up in this case, and that is, why was it reported that, that Robert had a knife when the officer was shot? That's a very simple question, we want that answer. If he had a knife, just say so. But there's recipient witnesses that say he did not have a knife on him. because you do not know that they are going to shoot your children or shoot the people that you're trying to help. We call 911 for help, and what do we get? We don't get anything. We get our chest There's other ways of taking somebody down. You have rubber bullets, you have beanbags, you have tasers. There is no reason that somebody should get shot four times in the chest when you have so many officers and only one person. There's other ways you guys get trained, military, police training procedures, all that is full of crap. And our kids are dying because you guys do not think first. You guys need to think before you do something. When you guys come knocking on somebody's door and there is an argument, you tell them to think and calm down and do it a different way. Well, you also need to do the same thing. Instead of thinking within five seconds and pulling that trigger because you guys are trigger happy, there's other ways to do things. There's other ways to control people. Cops were not hired to be executioners. Cops were hired to investigate and detain if necessary and even 